And thanks so much for joining us for 12 News at 4. I'm Tram Mai. Back here in Arizona, a man is under arrest, charged in connection with a shooting that happened in Australia in 2022. He's not charged with actually participating in that attack. It's about what he said online. 12 News journalist William Pitts is here with the latest on the investigation and the arrest. William? Well, we know the suspect's name is Donald Day. He's 58 and apparently lives in Heber Overgaard. Now, that's about three hours northeast of the valley. Now, the FBI says it arrested Day last Friday. He's charged with making interstate threats in connection with what Australians call a religiously motivated terrorist attack last year. It happened a year ago in Wiambila, Australia. Three people, Gareth, Stacy, and Nathaniel Train, ambushed police outside a home. They shot and killed two Queensland constables and a neighbor who came to see what happened. The trains were shot and killed by police after a six hour standoff. Now the FBI says Donald Day has been communicating with the trains in the year leading up to the shooting. They say all of them shared the same far right Christian doomsday conspiracy theories. Day faces up to 10 years in prison and a half million dollars in fines, Tram. Wow. Okay, so William, what is he actually being charged with? Well, the actual charge is for threatening to kill law enforcement if they come to his house. The second count is threatening the head of the World Health Organization. He's actually listed as victim one in the paperwork. Okay, so how did they even find each other? They found each other through YouTube, how a lot of people find each other. They were posting similar videos and conspiracy theories, started replying to comments on each other's videos. The trains actually posted a video right after killing those two constables. The last thing they said was, see you at home, Don. We love you. Oh, wow. Okay, I know you have much more coming up at 6 o'clock. Mm -hmm. We look forward to your story.